and welcome back to the channel on this video we're going to go for a ride on the aerial rider grizzly i get lots of folks asking me about taking it out for a spin i don't take it out enough so i'm going to do it right now so let's go for a ride on the Aerial Rider Grizzly. It's been a while, a little bit since I've ridden it, so. I believe the Aerial Rider Grizzly right now is on sale. For $30.99 and don't quote me on that because the sale could be over but I believe the last time I checked because I check quite often I believe it was still $30.99 now that's $200 more than I paid when I uh, bought the bike which is coming up almost two years here April Fool's Day, I got it. I bought it before April Fool's Day, but that's when I received it. Um, got it a little bit before April Fool's Day, and then it was shipped pretty quick. Um, I waited for it to come in stock and then jumped on it, because that's the bike I determined at the time that I wanted. And it was a hard bike to get back then. It was kept, it kept selling out, and I had to wait for them to restock, restock. And this uh, bike lane, by the way, is awful. I'm going to get onto the road. Too much debris and crap in there. Too much crap in the bike lane. I can't even ride there. Rider Grizzly definitely has some get up and go. That was the dual motor going. I wasn't full speed, but you can definitely tell it has some oomph. But uh, I wanted to mention something. Whoa, forgot I had both motors on there. So I wanted to mention something about this bike though. The differences between when I bought it and what you get now. So they're a little bit different. It's version three now. I had version, or I have version two right here. And uh, I guess they've improved the light, the headlight, because this headlight is terrible on this bike. I got to admit, it's not very good. And the other thing for sure that's different is they put uh, or they changed the um, charger I got two 5 amp charges with mine and now they come with just one 4 amp charger so a big difference there because with the 5 amp charger first of all it charges faster and secondly having two of them this being a dual battery bike you can charge both batteries up at the same time which is really nice um, because that's what I always do when I'm charging them I charge them both the same time one will charge a little quicker because it's a bigger or a smaller battery so there's a 15 and a 20 amp battery they still have that set up I don't know why they just didn't get two 20 amps that would have been amp hour that would have been the best but anyway it is what it is and uh, but yeah, down to one four volt or four amp charger. Yeah, that's that's not as good. But if you want a bike 
that is truly a tank and that's what I call this and this is the bike for you I always compare it to a pickup truck it's like a it's like a four-wheel drive pickup truck compared to a, a car you know As you can see right there, uh, we were able to hang with the traffic. Sometimes you can't help it, even with a bike lane there. You just can't ride in that. It's all crap in there and you're gonna get, although I trust these tires, I still don't wanna ride in that crap. So um, that's why I was on the street and the speed limit was perfectly fine to be able to go with this bike I can keep up with traffic no problem I gotta say sometimes riding the uh, Grizzly sometimes it gives you that feeling that it just wants to unleash and go you know it just wants to fly so you want to open it right up and go definitely uh, got that especially when you use the dual motor the acceleration the extra kick it gives you if you want a little bit of extra oomph you know that extra kick acceleration then this bike may be very well be the one for you watch this here we'll do a little demo so here we are, here we are going along on the one motor and I'm going to get around this corner here and try to open it up a bit, although we got a car in front of us while we're turning, oh perfect, we're turning off anyway. So let's get beyond the speed bump and then just see what happens here, we let her go a bit, kick in the other motor. Here we go with dual motor. You can hear it. The front motor has a lot of a lot of noise to it. This bike is really good for accelerating out of a intersection. You can quickly get out of there, especially when you kick on the second motor, but 
Uh, you got to be careful doing that because you want to make sure you don't take off and forget that you have the front motor on because it'll it might throw you uh, unexpected uh, spin of the front wheel. Well, that's going to do it for our riding around on the aerial rider grizzly always a lot of fun to get on this bike too and take it for a spin i hope you enjoyed the video if you like this video go ahead and hit that like button and if you'd like to subscribe to the channel we'd appreciate having you um, supporting us so thank you very much for doing that and if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified and if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video, and we'll catch you on the next one. And until then, keep your wheels on the road.